Okay, so today I'm going to set up the WAN in OpenWRT. So in my previous video, I set up uh, and installed OpenWRT, but out of the box, it does not work for me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what, but the WAN uh, just doesn't work. So I don't have internet. Right. So if you install OpenWRT, for me in particular, and I've installed it many times, it creates a, a default network configuration file like this. So this is actually the default file. I just copy and paste it right after a new install. So it, uh, it puts in the loop back, so that's fine. And then it configures the LAN side, fine. But when it comes to the to the WAN side, it doesn't create a device. So it doesn't know it's supposed to have a, a WAN bridge. So yeah, I haven't figured that out why it doesn't do it, but maybe it's just my network setup. So how it should look like is, is this. So I basically just entered, entered the config device for the WAN and a few other things. So I like my network as you can see eve0 and eve1 this is your either virtual or physical ethernet port of your computer or virtual environment so it doesn't really matter as long as you have two for the wan and the lan right so what it does I'm just going to quickly explain it. So config device creates a BR LAN bridge. So a bridge is nothing more than a switch. It brings together all the Ethernet uh, ports and devices and just uh, switches between them so that your network can work. Right, so BR LAN option type, it says that it's a bridge. So it creates this bridge in this, in this commands and it attaches attach it in a way to Eve 1. I like to make my Ethernet 1, my BR LAN connect to Eve 1 and my BR WAN to Eve 0. Right, and then set up, uh, to set up the interface for the LAN, so you created the bridge device and then a few settings for the LAN. Basically, option device is the BR LAN that you created here. It's a static address for the LAN, obviously, using this address and uh, Netmask. Right, and then this was omitted from the default file. So just you just have to. So if you uh, run in, into a problem where there's no internet or your network is not working, just open up this uh, network configuration file and check that your WAN your WAN bridge is actually created. So config device option name, BR WAN, option type bridge, connect to your uh, Ethernet port, in my case, Eve0. And then for the interface for the WAN, device, BR WAN, and it's DHCP. So it gets a IP address from either my ISP router or my PFSense. So I have PFSense running on my network somewhere. In this case, it gets IP from PFSense. Right, and that doesn't matter. So if we go to, if we go to OpenWRT, so it's running here. I just wanna show you how to get to that network configuration file. So it's V for the little text editor. Uh, it's, and no, it's gone and network right so I've entered that information in here so let's just make sure if everything is in there's the LAN the LAN bridge with its settings the WAN bridge with its settings and as soon as I set it up like this it started working I can ping and I can browse everything was Good, and I can go to um, Lucy, which is the web UI for, for OpenWRT. 
right so how do you exit this now again it's i'll add it i only know how to save it <laughs> i don't like v so i actually installed nano in openwrt which works for me much better so if we go i have config you can see that my bear land is there received and uh okay now it's default i should have uh, made that a 10 yeah i had to change it because my pf sense is exact same network and that's a problem so yeah there's my uh, static ip address of 10.1 for uh, openwrt's lan so uh, there's the bridge uh well the two bridges so brlan and brwan it gets an ip of 1.184 from pfsense right and uh here's the two ethernet uh, ports which is attached to these two bridges anyway let's um yeah let's go to lucy then oh wait i can just go here here yeah. go to lucy open a browser oh yeah lucy is already connected nice so just type in the the lan ip address of your open wrt which is 10.1 in uh, your case it might it might be 1.1 .1. because i'm sitting behind pf sense now that's the only reason i had to change that right in here if you want to go to um status let's just go to and they should if zero and if one connection it's up and running and uh it's just logging again right you can go to network interfaces if you want to change your your ips lan wan so usually you just change the lan really edit that and you can change it down here so that's the broadcast you can make it smaller 10.50 giving out only 10 uh, uh, ips i mean 50 ips or 40 or whatever right and there's my ip so you can change it here if you want to be want it to be on a on a different network mine was 1.1 like that and i had to change it to 10 yeah so that is that so we're not going to go into any of the other stuff same with when okay but yeah you don't have to change anything because it gets its ip right um yeah that is pretty much that so you just have to make sure that um that your bridges are correct in your configuration file right so receiver ip of 10 105 with for this virtual machine and you can do it on actual machines if you have two physical network ports like i have on my lan actual lan network uh, it works pretty much the same same way so yeah that device is the problem good 